Next up here, we're going to wind a set of humbucker pickups from my Les Paul Restore. Mojo Tone has a great American-made pickup kit set. Really nice components, high quality. Going to wind this on my pickup winder with 42 gauge plain enamel wire. We're going to start by sanding off some of the coating on the wire here. I've got some 320 grit sandpaper and I've got my lead wire. And then we're just going to wrap this around with some tweezers. I struggle with this real thin wire so I use some tweezers to help me wind it around get it set. And then from there we're going to go ahead and solder on with a little solder. So now I've got the lead wire soldered on. And you always want to have the lead wires coming off the same side on a humbucker. And I'll show you how to do that here as I get moving. Put a little piece of tape on to ensure strength. And then on my winder, I got a little piece of tape to hold the lead wire. And then I use this 3M re-sticky stuff and put the bobbin on, stick it on, do maybe a hundred turns or so, make sure it's loading properly. Make sure I'm getting the right build, got the right tension. We'll just go back and forth and make sure it looks like it's loading correctly. And we'll spin this through. Lots of different ways to make a pickup winder. Lots of other videos on YouTube here of guys with the do-it-yourself winders. This was a winder off of eBay that was a hand crank originally and I've got a sewing machine motor on it now with a foot pedal that I operate with my hand. And so you can see I've got about a thousand turns on here now and we're going to just start moving it back and forth and this is what we call a scatter wound pickup. We're going to go for about 5,000 turns for each bobbin. And this is that 42 gauge plain enamel wire that was used in PAF pickups. This bobbin on the right was the first bobbin I wound in a while. It's very loose, very messy. Tension was not set up correctly, so the bobbin on the left was rewound. Looks nice. So then we'll go ahead, reload another bobbin, set it up the same way. Scatter wind it, get that lead wire attached. Again, it's key to get those lead wires coming out the same side. So you go about halfway on that one side of the pickup, lead it around so that they both lead out the same side. Get a little tape here, strengthen that joint just enough. I like doing it the long way. So we'll get this on, wrap it around, and then get the tape and wrap the tape around. We we'll usually go around twice with the tape, get these set up. And I've got a bobbin that's all set to go. Check it here real quick. It's about four ohms. And then we'll get the base plate set. So with the base plate, we're gonna sand a spot where we're gonna do the ground. We're gonna feed the wire through. We're gonna use the vintage shielded wire versus the four wire. We'll get this set up here. Solder the ground to the pickup plate. clean up the ends and then we'll start tossing the lugs in here and you can see the lugs have two sides and you want to have the flat side facing up out on the pickup. So we'll line these up, tap them down. You can see I've got a board with a hole in it that I'm tapping these through. It gives me some assistance. And so we'll just tap these in after winding this. So we'll begin to load this up. We'll get the magnet, fit the magnet in, screw in the bobbins. And 
and then we're loading the lead bobbin lugs with the screws and we'll just then screw these in by hand so then we're going to go ahead and solder the lead wires to all of this and the two outsides get soldered together the inside from the primary is the hot and then the other side is the ground you can find this on 1728.org or .com go ahead load these on solder them up and then we'll take the tape and push these back into the gaps and wrap this all up and then this is a sound clip of the pickup guys thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next vid